Welcome back to Melody Guitar Book 2. This book focuses on learning how to read and play melodies in standard music notation. You can watch all these videos for free, but it's going to be a lot easier to learn if you have your own copy of Melody Guitar 2 that you can read from and write in. Plus, you'll be supporting a fellow musician, so I'll leave a link for that book in the description. We're on pages 15 through 17, and we're going to talk about tempo markings. Page 15 is all about tempo markings. If you've gone through Rhythm Guitar Book 2, this may look familiar because we went over the same material. So a tempo marking is simply a marking at the beginning of your music that tells you how fast you're supposed to play. We have an example of a tempo marking toward the top of page 15. There's a quarter note equals 120. That number is beats per minute. So with a metronome, you can find out exactly how fast 120 is. Now sometimes instead of a number, you'll see a musical term used as a tempo marking. And we have some terms in this box here in the middle of page 15 from slowest to fastest. And you can't really set a number to these. These are more relative, but I'm gonna go through and pronounce these so you can see how they're pronounced. We have largo, larghetto, grave, lento, adagio, andante, andantino, moderato, Allegretto, Allegro, Vivace, Presto, and Prestissimo. Now you don't have to go and memorize these right away, although I'd be very impressed if you did, but I will go over some of the more common ones to know. Andante, that's very common. Moderate walking tempo, it can also be used and thought of as kind of moderately slow, even though Adagio is also moderately slow. Um, moderato, that one's pretty easy to figure out. Nice moderate tempo. Allegro, that's very common. That's just a brisk tempo. Now, sometimes you'll see a musical term and a metronome marking. For example, at the bottom of the page, it says Allegro, which is generally fast. The very bottom marking, we have Allegro quarter equals 120. So now we know exactly how fast, 120 beats per minute, which you can find using a metronome. One, two, ready, play. Top of page 17, we have number 33, Go Tell Aunt Rhody. This one is in 4-4 time. It's marked Adagio, quarter equals 60. So now we not only have to look at the beginning of our music for the time signature, also look for the tempo marking. And quarter equals 60, you can use a metronome. And that's our beat. One, two, three, four. Also, make sure you're looking through your music for repeat signs. We do have a repeat sign at the end of this one, so you just play this one twice. So at the beginning, using a metronome so we can figure out how fast 60 is, we have one, two, and three, four. Repeat, do all that again. Not much to talk about here as far as notes. Just make sure you're using alternate picking down, up, down, up, down whenever you have your eighth notes. One, two, one, two, ready, play.
Number 34, have you seen the ghost of John is in common time, same as 4-4. Four, four. We have four beats per measure. It's marked moderato, so that's just going to be a nice moderate speed. In the original playthrough, I did quarter equals 90, which is kind of moderate. This also has a repeat sign, so you will be playing this twice through. Let's look at the beginning. We have an A to E to A. So a couple things you can do there. You can use a third finger on an A. Normally you use second finger, but you could use third finger so you could get to the E easily. And then that C is actually part of an A minor chord, so if you really wanted to, just hold down an A minor chord until you have to play that B. Other things you could do, you could hold down the E and the A at the same time. So you have some options there. Measure three, one, two, three, alternate picking, four, and, and this is just a little scale going up, starting on that A, make sure it's down, up, down, up, down. And alternate picking all the way here. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. Now with this one, if you're trying to do it quarter equals 90, that may be a little fast at first. If it is, there's no rule that says you have to play at that speed right away. You could bring it down to say quarter equals 60, really get it down. And then once you're comfortable playing it at 60, boost it up a little bit to 65. I'm going to go to the next part. And once you're comfortable at 65 or whatever tempo, keep boosting the tempo by five clicks or five beats per minute at a time until you've reached the tempo you want to play. One, two, three, one, ready, play. Number 35, Bring a Torch, Jeanette Isabella, one of my favorite Christmas carols. It's in 3-4 time. It's marked Allegro, quarter equals 132. So with the metronome, you can hear that 132 is pretty brisk. Now the good news is there are no eighth notes. It's the quarter note is the fastest in this one, so it's not too bad, even at quarter equals 132. Look through it for repeats or anything like that. There are no repeats. However, the last note of the whole song, we have a fermata above that C. So you're going to hold that for, well, however long you want to hold it. So starting at the beginning, we have a big skip from G to C. Just be ready for that. Some stepwise motion here. Then we have a G. Now we just got done playing a D. At the end of measure four, you can just collapse your finger to play that D right there, then a big skip to C again. Back up to a G. One, two, three. A lot of stepwise motion here. This catches people off guard sometime. The second to last measure of the second line, there's an E. There's also an E at the the beat right before that. It's really tempting when you see all those moving notes to just want to move to a new note, but in the fourth measure of the second line, we have G, F, E, and then another E at the beginning of the next line. So just be ready for that sort of thing. Third line, big skip up from G to F. Now steps, one, two, three, 
one, two, three. Very important to hold through these uh, dotted half notes here. One, two, three, one, two, three. Collapse your finger for this G if you like. One, two, three, one, two, three. Collapse your finger, and then we have a C with the fermata, so you hold that as long as you like. Your assignment is to get familiar with the tempo markings on page 15, and then to practice the melodies on page 17. And as I always say, make sure you work on keeping a steady beat by playing along with a video or practice with a metronome so you can choose your own tempo. And remember, just because a song is marked at a fast tempo doesn't mean you have to play it that fast right away. If you need to, play it at a slow tempo and then use the metronome to gradually build up speed. And don't forget to order your own copy of Melody Guitar 2. You can watch all these videos for free, but it's going to be a lot easier to learn if you have your own book that you can read from and write in. So I'll leave a link for that in the description. Take your time with this, and then when you're ready, I'll see you on page 18. We're going to talk about tempo change markings.